Welcome back to DXB Today. You might have noticed, so we're here, Lane and I, because we've dodged the bullet of yoga today. We're just here chatting football and food <laughs> and things like that. Uh, but worry not, because there's still plenty more to come. Now, Nimi caught up with none other than the Bollywood legend, actress Kareem Kapoor Khan, uh, who was down at the Sharjah International Book Fair a little earlier on this month to find out uh, more about her newly released book on the ultimate manual to pregnancy. Let's have a little look. Tonight we're at Sharjah International Book Fair where I'm going to be sitting down with one of Bollywood's biggest stars, Karina Kapoor Khan. Karina Kapoor Khan, welcome to the UAE. I mean, you're absolutely no stranger to it, so it's great to have you here. First of all, how are you? I'm very well, but yeah, feeling great and I returned to the UAE after five years. So really, really happy to be here. Oh, so excited. And you know, I'm going to quote you now, and I don't know if you remember you saying this, but you said once, I don't want to do stardom anymore. I just want to do me. What is Karina Kapoor Khan's version of doing me? I think doing things that I love, doing things that I enjoy, um, doing things for myself also a little bit, you know whether it's producing a film like Buckingham Murders, which is, um, you know, it's like, it's slightly more like an indie movie, which has got an amalgamation of different cultures in it. Like we're speaking Hindi, Punjabi, English. Mm -hmm. So uh, choosing roles that, you know, I want to do also a little bit mm -hmm. different and yeah, balancing the commercial side of it as well. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, one thing you said in your book was, I mean, there were so many things you said in your book, but one thing in particular which really struck me was when you were thanking your mother and your mother-in-law for instilling a level, conf a level of confidence in you when you were pregnant and going into motherhood and you had so much options for work as well. I think you're an icon for confidence. And, and I understand that during that time, it, it's a lot of mum guilt as well. T tell me how you have instilled confidence in yourself and how important that has been to instill in your children as well. I think confidence comes from also being nurtured, being loved. Um, I think my mum kind of, you know, gave me and nurtured me. It's like watering a plant, you know, it kind of, it needs that, it needs water to grow. Mm -hmm. So I think for children, they need love and nurturing from their parents to get the confidence. Mm -hmm. I'm very, very lucky to have had my mother and my father do that to me. I'm sure all parents try to do that to all their children. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm doing with Tim and Jay, mm -hmm. is, you know, um, of course, it's being a little strict, but at the same time, it's like, you know, pushing them and helping them to, you know, just, enjoy themselves do what they love doing mm -hmm. and kind of giving them that you know energy and confidence to do it yeah absolutely last one and i want to switch it up just do a quick fire round and your options are um tell me how it was or pretty hot and tempting so it's either a yes or a no okay here are your situations karina kapoor khan we have staying in with a movie and a takeaway on your night off is it tell me how it was like mm, or is it pretty hot and tempting Definitely pretty hot and tempting. I thought so. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, wearing heels. Pretty hot and tempting. Okay, okay. Uh, getting a surprise party on your birthday. Tell me how it was. <laughs> I thought so. And last one, and I know the answer to this, but crime thrillers instead of rom coms. I think everyone knows that I'm a big uh, crime thriller buff, whether mm -hmm. it's books or a show, yeah. that's my go to. Definitely. Mm. Well, best of luck out there at Sharjah International Book Fair. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Incredible interview there with Nimi and Karina Kapoor Khan. But right now in the studio, we have Neri Toledo. Neri, thank you so much for joining us on DXB today. So it is now Dubai Fitness Challenge, and we're trying to get fit and healthy in the DXB Today studio. So thank you for coming along. Can you tell me a little bit about what practice it is that you do? So I do a lot of teaching from the Dharma talk, not only about the physical practice of yoga, so it's all about Dharma talk, wisdom talk, and then we do the meditation itself. So it's a practice that would allow you to journey within yourself more than the physical aspect of yoga. 
Incredible. So who would you say your yoga classes are geared towards? Well, it ranges from six years old to 70 years old. So you can find it in my class from different level, age, or physical abilities. Amazing. So the workout that we're going to do today, you mentioned that we are going to be accessing the second heart. Can you explain a little bit about that for me? So everybody, everybody perhaps doesn't really know that we have a second heart. Okay. And that is not located behind, beneath our rib cage, is actually located at the lower back of your legs. Okay. On your calf muscle. Okay, interesting. So calf muscle repair to us the second heart because it plays a vital role in circulatory system. Many, you know, many of us really afraid of being, you know, having, you know, getting a cancer, where in fact the leading, the, the leading cause of that is cardiovascular disease. So that, that calf muscle will allow you to pump back, especially the, the, the venous blood, which is the deoxygenated blood back to your heart. Okay, incredible. Well, I can't wait to start the workout, but guys, do you want to uh, finish off today's episode while we get ready for our workout? Nice one, Amy. I'm looking forward to seeing that and I might get involved myself actually, Tom. Yeah, I, I think I might do myself an injury, so I'll, <laughs> I'll sit this one out for you. Indeed. But if you ever want to watch any back episodes of our wonderful show, just go onto our YouTube page and check out the show. Yeah, you can also follow us on Insta. Listen, if you want to see any of the bloopers, not that there are many, loads obviously a uh, bit of the behind the scenes all the other socials then get yourself onto the insta page as well all the details are up on the screen now so just check them out uh, listen we're going to be back tomorrow as we're going to be meeting some serial entrepreneurs right here in this amazing city that we call home for now though uh, it is over to the most extreme yoga session Neri has ever given to our amy okay Neri, let's start let's do it to come in front of your mat we're going to do a calf raise for 10, let's do it for inhaling, exhaling as you lower down. Amy, inhale, exhale down. Inhale, exhale down. Inhale, exhale down. Inhale, just breathe through your nostril. Close them out. Inhale, exhale. Lift it up. Inhale, you're gonna stay for three breaths. Two and one. Now bend your knees, lower your hips in your chair pose, hand forward, 